Hello everyone, my name is Fuzenkoot, and welcome to... Welcome once again to Fuzen's Block Story Adventures. Well, um... This is the Under the Sea world. This was made by a community member, I don't know their name, but it will be in the description or in an annotation in the video when it is posted. Now, I... As always with these types of videos... I will take and do my best, my apps, my, well, okay, uh, every time I do these videos, I start out without knowing anything about it, this is a clean slate, I have no clue what's going on, but so far I like the architecture, nice trident, um, what the hell? Well, this is one of those acid fountains. Yeah, don't do that. Diver suit, apparently. And fuel. Eh, I'm just going around grabbing stuff because I can. Over here, more of the same. Okay. Start with that. They really do need to work on these stairs. They're a little hard to ascend. You have to, like, jump over them. But going down them's fine. Let's see what's in here. Um, an acid pool again. What's with this game in acid? What's with this place in acid? That's not, that's not good for you. What is this, where you would put a criminal? Very nice room, though. Oh. That's really cool. An aquarium. That looks really nice. I'm impressed thus far. Let's see. Okay. Bit of a dead end. Let's go back the way we came in. I have to admit, so far I'm very impressed. The use of the blues and the greens, the lighting. Makes the place look really nice. What's over here? Bit of an open chamber, nothing. Hello. How are you? I'm doing fine. You're not supposed to talk. Screw you. Alright. Now on the way in, I recall seeing something else. Other than a giant squid that may want to bite my face off. There's something up here. Not worried about drowning because I'm pretty sure I'm in some form of a creative mode. What is this? Looks like a forest biome in a dome. Reverse snow globe, anybody? Ooh, a sunken ship. Let's go plunder. Yar, ye scurvy dogs. What's in here? Nice. I'll take one. Of each. I was expecting gold or doubloons or something. Well, this is fine, too. Anything else? Wow. I kind of wish these were all connected. Well, there has to be a way in, right? What the hell is this? This is sorcery, I tell you. Looks like a bunch of miniature biomes. Is 
there any way inside? I mean, the game does lack uh, full-on water physics right now. doesn't have real, you know, water physics, otherwise that would probably not flood the entire cave. What's this? The fuck? I didn't know that was in the game. Hi! Fuck off. Get off my world. tell quite a bit of effort went into this. Because even if you were building this in creative, there's no type of world editor for Block Story right now, if I uh, am thinking right. So this had to be made by hand, and there's no multiplayer, so this was made by one person. House of sorts. Hmm. I think that's about it. I was hoping there would be a little more to this world. The aquarium was nice. The inner architecture of the main structure is very beautiful indeed. But there's a problem. I give this whole thing an A for craftsmanship. I mean, it looks really, really nice. But I mean, it's obvious that this excuse me, is the main attraction right here. That's not bad per se, but it just kind of leaves me wanting more. I want to see more. I mean, the biomes in the globes all around this place, that's a really nice touch. But all they are are forest biomes, and there are visitors in them. Now, I might be missing something here that the creator wanted everyone to see. But, um, as far as I'm concerned, I don't really see much. I mean, once again, I'll say this. These all had to be made by hand. These don't occur naturally, to my knowledge. I might be wrong, though.
Okay, you can't talk to them, you can only hit them. Then again, I don't think they have much interesting things to say to you. I mean, you know how aliens are. Take me to your leader and shit. Well, I am your leader. Now give me all your potatoes. What's this thing even called? Visitor Antiques. Okay. Let's see if it's there, then. So anyway, what can I say about it? I, it's very nicely made, it was well crafted, but the big thing about it is that it leaves me wanting more. I want to see more of these amazing structures. I mean, I don't know if this is the world in its final, final configuration or not, but if it is as it stands, is it worth you downloading? Is it worth you taking the time to look at it? I'm not going to say no, because if you appreciate good craftsmanship and well-made worlds, this is for you. You can spend a bit of time looking around, looking at the visitors, taunting them, blowing raspberries, all that good stuff. But, ultimately, I'm going to have to give this one... I would say a low 7 out of 10. A high six, a low seven. The reason why I do that is I just feel like I wanted more, and I feel like this had more potential. There could have been more rooms. More monuments, that kind of thing. There could have been a lot more to it. Am I saying that makes this world bad? No. And I mean, I feel sort of bad for saying it, because I know someone spent a lot of time making those tunnels underground. But, still, that's all I can really say about it. Luckily, you can fly over these stairs, but this isn't really the maker's fault. This is kind of a... This is kind of the designer of the game's folly right there, but I'm pretty sure they'll fix it in a patch or two. Okay, walking on metal sounds annoying. So, we'll... St so, I'll end this video with me taking one good look at the aquarium. Ugh. And I want to thank you all very, very much for watching. And please, tune in next time for more of Fuzen's block story adventures, my let's plays, anything. I post videos daily, so be sure to subscribe. Really does help me out, guys. And... Come on back tomorrow, and we'll see what we're going to do next, and we'll see either what world I visit or if I continue one of my Let's Plays. So, uh, till then, see you then, guys.